hello. And basically... That's right, everyone. Sword and Shield is absolutely exploding. Bro, it's what it says! Ah! Ah! Not just all year, but like starting in March and then continuing on into April, things are going batshit crazy with Sword and Shield. But more specifically, it's Sword and Shield sealed booster boxes and Sword and Shield chase alt arts. So some raw cards that are chase cards are exploding, like right now. I get it now. Same thing with some uh, kind of back half later Sword and Shield boxes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two videos this week. This one, the one you are currently watching, is all about the booster boxes. And then my next video, probably tomorrow, I'll get, I'll get started on as soon as I get done here, will be about the raw cards, the actual chase cards because very specifically, sealed booster boxes in Sword and Shield and raw specific cards in Sword and Shield are exploding right now. This video, we are going to go over the booster boxes. We're gonna start at number 12, work our way up to number one. We already know it's evolving skies, okay? But the point of this video is to give y'all a quick little refresher where we're at with things right now right now today april what is it 9th or 10th or whatever like if you get on tcg player how much you are going to pay for each individual box starting from the cheapest to the evolving skies the most expensive so let's go ahead and uh let's get started shall we number 12 battle styles so battle styles here we got it we got a tyranitar okay so 112, see the, see the chart and then see what I, what I got written down below in the yellow? The chart is the TCG market price chart. What I have written down below is if you were to go on to TCG player right now and buy the booster box, what your cheapest available price would be. And the reason you might see some changes in those two values is because a lot of people are li listing like 36 loose, 30, 36 loose booster packs is not an unopened sealed booster box. I don't know why TCG blends it all together, but they blend it all together. So anyway, 112 is how much you will pay today, tomorrow, whatever, on TCG Player for battle styles. Let's go to number 11. Number 11 is Vivid Voltage, aka Rainbow Chonkachu. Rainbow Chonkachu is, a, I, I love seeing any rainbow do well. And it's about the only card doing well in Vivid Voltage. But today, you can get a Vivid Voltage booster box sealed for 135. Let's go to number 10. Number 10 is Darkness Ablaze. And guys, I just want to remind you of how bad of a set Darkness Ablaze is. Everyone, everyone seems to poke fun at Pokemon Go. Well, I'm just letting it be known that Darkness Ablaze, Ablaze is literally a pile of shit ablaze okay i i 100 percent promise you pokemon go has better hits than darkness ablaze all right they got they got mewtwo's and dragonites and like a couple mewtwo's and dragonites they even got a charizard in there all i'm saying is everyone rags on pokemon go but darkness ablaze is absolutely worse like absolute a uh, Charizard V Max for like twenty five bucks is your chase card. Get out of here! All right, let's go to number nine. Number nine, Silver Tempest. The well, Crown Zenith this is the last. This is the second to the last Sword and Shield set. In this set, we obviously have this Lugia, and we got a cool train, couple cool trainer galleries. You know, there's some Rayquaza in there. There's a, a Garchomp with Cynthia on it. All right, anyway, all right, all right, all right. So 140, right now, 140 is how much you are paying on TCG Player if you want this Silver Tempest. All right, uh, number eight, number eight, Brilliant Stars. This set is home to probably two of the best value Charizards you can buy today. So we got Brilliant Stars at a $165 a booster box. This is Danny Phantom's absolute favorite set to pump he loves pumping brilliant stars yes he does i have no idea what i'm doing and uh so 165 all right it's you can see it it's making moves it is absolutely making moves 
but not not too big we've got what what does that graph show like 155 to 165 the graph makes it look like it's making bigger moves than it actually is it's these next sets coming up that are making real big moves but the rainbow charizard the rainbow secret rare charizard you can get right now for 50 dollars okay that is the lowest that card's ever been and it's one of the most beautiful rainbow alt arts is the charizard v star from brilliant stars let's go to number seven siete. all right we got astral radiance all right now things are starting to heat up heat up big time machamp v we're going to talk about him in the next video he's doing quite well himself but we have 170 dollars as your cheapest available sealed booster box of astral radiance number six the tina baby tina hmm, he'll be showing up next video so number six lost origin that'll set you back 176 dollars a booster box and to be honest that doesn't sound that bad especially next video when we get into how tina's doing and been doing for a while a couple months tina's been climbing up basically all year giratina has been climbing up all right number five Chili, Willy, Chilling, Rain. The Blaziken and the Moltres. Okay. So here we got $209. That's right. Chilling Rain is officially a $200 plus set. We all knew it was going to happen. We all knew Chilling Rain was underrated. We all knew Cool Trainer Ryan was pumping the hell out of the Blaziken. We know this. It is what it is. Okay. But $209 in Chilling Rain. I doubt that'll ever go down. Chilling Rain is highly underrated. And honestly, come on, Calyrex, we like, I mean, Calyrex is cool, all right, okay. All right, number four, number four, number four. Number four is Rebel Trash that is worth a pretty penny. So, Rebel Clash, when it comes to the front half of Sword and Shield, is one of the only sets actually doing that good. I guess bases too. But not for, not for real reason other than time and limited print run, I guess. So Rebel Clash, you got Boss's Orders, I believe that's like a $30 card. So Rebel Clash, the $30 card, the $30 Boss's Orders is a chase card, but it is still $220, a booster box. And it looks like the last couple weeks it hasn't been doing too well. All right, number three. Number three is Fusion Strike. So Gengar, absolutely going to be in the next video. Fusion Strike is officially not just over $200 for the first time ever, it is comfortably over $200 for the first time ever. And honestly, uh, Fusion Strike! All right, I did it, I did my own. I had to do my own, okay? Okay, I made a meme out of him, okay? I'm gonna do it once, I'll let him do it. Every time from now on. That is not the last time you will see that meme. All right, let's go to number two. Number two is Sword and Shield base set. Guys, real quick before I forget, if there is a single card on planet Earth that was worth $12 that I told you, that is by far the most undervalued $12 card you've ever seen. That Marnie, okay, look, look at this Marnie. So the rainbow version, the, the secret rare rainbow, is literally like an $11 card. I'm just saying, if you got 10 or 12 bucks and you're like, hey, Mimic Brew, I need to invest in a $12 Pokemon card, oh my god, it is that Marnie in its in its rainbow fashion, okay? That Marnie is like, uh, like $30, even that's not very much. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, so 275, it, it, it tapped 300, a little while ago and then it said no 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 and now it's like 260 so sword and shield base very expensive for a set that's chase card is like a 30 dollar uh very popular waifu all right let's get to evolving cries so i wrote 700 to 720 because this this price is so volatile and i was trying to figure out like between these two two booster boxes available there was one that was available for 700 one for 720 and then after that guys i'm just saying after after that things go way up to like 800 850 dollars for the evolving skies booster boxes but yeah 700 dollars today you can still get in the uh, booster box for 700 dollars on tcg player okay 
So big, big moral of the story, guys, is that Evolving Skies is 700 and probably about to be 800. But then also, uh, Fusion Strike is now 200 plus dollars at 230 dollars. My God. And then the other one was Chili Willy is also at 200 plus dollars. Oh my God! All right, guys, like comment subscribe so you be noted with that hit that bell hit that little bell that little notification bell and uh i think tomorrow or whatever i'll upload the raw cards the raw cards are taking off even crazier than the booster boxes themselves sword and shield is going ham this year guys all right like comment subscribe Deuces. and shoved it right up your asshole that's what i did